The FATA 110 was developed as a short-range single-stage solid-fueled platform to complement the capabilities of the country's predominantly liquid-fueled arsenal, able to engage targets at ranges of little over 200 kilometers, and the missile entered mass production in 2002. Technologies reverse-engineered from the Dongfeng 7 and technical assistance from North Korea were reportedly key to the platform's development, which has seen a number of upgrades since entering service, with the design's range being extended to 250 km in 2004 and reportedly gaining a range of over 300 km in 2012. The latest variant of the missile was referred to as the third generation of FATA-110. The FAT is relatively lightweight in its use of solid fuel, allowing it to be stored fully fueled and thereby considerably reducing its required launch time, makes it a highly practical weapon, particularly for highly mobile forces making use of guerrilla tactics. The platform has thus been particularly favored both by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, which maintain a considerable military presence abroad in Iraq, Lebanon, and Syria, as well as by the Iranian-aligned Lebanese militia Hezbollah. Due to the high demand for the missile and its importance to the projection of Iranian power in the Middle East, a more sophisticated derivative of the solid-fueled platform was developed for the Revolutionary Guard. Unveiled on August 21, 2015, the FATA 313 was almost identical to its predecessor in its external appearance but fielded considerably superior capabilities. The missile made use of a new composite body and a superior fuel composite which extended its range to 500 km. Considering the missile's size, this was an impressive feat for the weapons platform, allowing Iranian forces equipped with the light platforms to target Israel for the territory of Iraq or to threaten Saudi and Emirati oil fields from Iranian territory. <laughs> Following Iran's unveiling of the Kalajfars, Persian Gulf, and Hormuz, Straits of Hormuz, ballistic missiles, an anti-ship derivative of the FATA-110 known as the al mabin was unveiled in August 2018 amid growing tensions with the United States, which relies on its navy as its principal means of launching strikes in the even of war. The Zalfiger, another advanced variant, deploys a submunition warhead. FATA missiles have provided Iran's ally, the Syrian Arab Army, with a simpler and more cost-effective solid-fueled ballistic missile platform for deployment against Islamist insurgents on Syrian territory relative to the heavier Soviet Tachka and North Korean Taksa in its service. The missile poses a particularly considerable threat to Iran's adversaries due to its mobility, low maintenance and short deployment time, which allow its operators to set up and launch the missiles with a high degree of precision in under half an hour while on the move. For Iranian guerrilla force operating against a potential Western invasion, Hezbollah forces operating against Israel, and possibly even Yemeni Ansarullah coalition forces moving from cover to cover to evade Saudi and US attacks, this makes the FATA a highly valuable asset, arguably far more so than larger and more cumbersome platforms such as the Scut and Hwasong-6 which are less well suited to guerrilla operations. With Iran having undertaken extensive efforts to modernize its ballistic missile capabilities from the mid-1980s, both to develop retaliatory capabilities against Iraqi Scud attacks and in the Iran-Iraq war's aftermath to develop a viable deterrent force against potential future adversaries. With China and North Korea serving as the prime suppliers of ballistic missile technologies to the newly founded Islamic Republic, Tehran reportedly imported solid-fuel missile technologies from both gaining Korean assistance based on its experience developing the KN-02 Toxiv and importing over 200 Dongfeng-7 missiles, a ballistic derivative of the S-75 surface-to-air missile. The Iranian Missile Program, which is controlled by the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps IRGC, has been central to its military strategy since the 1988 war with Iraq, that followed its revolution in 1979. With sustained investment into developing a growing range of cruise and ballistic missile capabilities, Iran has achieved important strategic gains to make it one of the preeminent military powers in the region. 
The unveiling of the FATA 313 is the latest reminder of how the Iranian missile program continues to create an increasingly dangerous regional environment. Missiles, such as FATA 313, with solid fuel propel lance offer advantages over liquid-fueled rockets, such as reduced logistical footprints and preparation times required for launch. Although solid-fueled missiles are more sophisticated than liquid-fueled ones, and, while Iran claims the FATA 313 has both high accuracy and enhanced capabilities to defeat countermeasures, the FATA 313 in itself does not represent a groundbreaking development. The Iranian missile inventory already boasts the C-802, 120-kilometer range, C-201 watt, 200-kilometer range, and ROD, 400-kilometer range, cruise missiles. Additionally, the Iranian missile inventory includes the Zeltzal 1 and 2, 200-kilometer range, FATA 110D, 250-kilometer range, Shahab 1, 300-kilometers range, and Shahab 2. 500-kilometer range, tactical and short-range ballistic missiles, the Shahab-3, 1,300-kilometers range, Shahab-3A, 1,500-kilometer range, Shahab-3B, 2,000-kilometers range, medium-range ballistic missiles, and the Sejil, 2,500-kilometer range, intermediate ballistic missile. With its growing missile in Bento right, Iran is bolstering its capabilities to engage land targets right across the Gulf Cooperation Council GCC, as well as naval vessels around the Gulf with increasing precision and reliability, leaving GCC